straight to hell. <laughs> uh, attack Poodle, it gets better. It does get better. Mm -hmm. um, especially when they go to school and they come home too tired to do anything. Those are always, weird, always wonderful. Yeah. And then they turn 16 and then they start going out again, which is always amusing. Because when they wake up in the morning with a bit of a headache, you can shout at them and it's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's sadistic. And your point is? Mm, I don't have one. Right. Quite frankly, if you... Uh, okay, if you... I think... I don't think many kids in the UK... They point out the legal age of uh, alcohol consumption in the UK is 18. Um, but I don't think many kids really adhere to that one too strongly. There's always always ways around it. Mm. And quite frankly, if you're going to do the crime, you should do the time. That's and... True. Basically, you're playing into daddy's sadistic nature anyway, so <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> um, in the states, in most states of the United States, wow. <laughs> um, in most places in the United States, the legal drinking age is, oh god, uh, 21. But, uh... Actually, now most stores will, um, they'll basically card everyone, regardless of if they look old or not. And you'd be amazed at how many people get mad about that. Like, so many people get mad if you card them because they think you're saying that they're, that you're, or that you're old. But then, if they card you, these people get mad because they get carded. It's really obnoxious if I'm gonna be honest how dare you think I'm over 21 <laughs> yeah. I mean it's, it's 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 the thing okay this is the thing and when you get to you get to my age it just gets depressing you know people are just looking at you thinking you well you're you're fairly obviously over 18 I mean look at all the gray so I'm not gonna bother asking so I, I actually do make your point yeah I am over 18 I promise you I've got some ID somewhere <laughs> you know I really really I am over 18 yep well, that's yeah. the the thing is people will ask and because they have to legally they have to ask everyone and people get so angry and it's like no no we're trying to keep underage kids from buying this stuff you need to chill you need to chill hard yeah uh, I'll pry, um but of course, it's not going to stop. I mean, one of the problems with this is okay. Is uh, one thing a lot of teenage kids I've seen do is that if they want to buy cigarettes or they want to buy alcohol, they hang around the front of a supermarket and, and just ask people going, in, "Hey, could you buy me a pack of fags?" Yeah, they do that. Could you buy me some beer. Too. Yeah. But if they see you anywhere near someone young, um, then you can get in trouble. Hi, silent goodbyes. Sorry, Hello, guys. I have the silent chat. Goodbyes. Um, I have the chat mostly covered so if I don't respond that is why and I love you all I kiss your face um, I thought that was Sydney's job which is a joke that people who just died won't get yes it's mm. gross he kissed me and now I have mouth face <laughs> um, okay I'm gonna leave those two chairs there for now but I will revisit it because I might just move the I don't know I might move the chess area over here and then the desk over there. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, one of the one of the problems of course with uh, a computer like that which faces into the room is it's very hard to hide the porn you're downloading. <laughs> well that's the point. I know. Who downloads porn? There's so many videos. Who downloads porn, Simon? Well, if you if you if you if you stream something, you're effectively downloading it. It's just you don't keep it afterwards. It's true. It's, it's fair. You're very correct. You want to talk to the tech with me? You want to start this one <laughs> with me, who's worked in the industry for twenty years with me? Well, apparently, I started this conversation, and I shall finish it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't put down different four. I did. I put down different yeah. four in here. Harry, Harry, Harry Potter's not big anywhere. I've seen the guy. He's tiny. <laughs> Simon. 
I don't know, I'm pretty sure it has advantages. When I was when I was a kid, I mean, all I wanted to do when I was a teenager, all I wanted to do was date a really tall girl. <laughs> because, you know, uh, winters were terrible and my nose kept on freezing. <laughs> You're tall, Simon. <laughs> yes. Who are you trying to kid? Yeah. Here, stand on this stool and let's hug. <laughs> um, um, so, okay. This is going to be... Oh, we still have the bathroom. We have two bedrooms and a bathroom. So, I guess we'll do Jessica's room. And it's all going to be done in purples and greens, because that's what she wears in the comics. And whites. Purples, greens, and whites. And I need some light in here. What the hell, game? Ceiling lights. There, that works. Jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> Deal. We seem to we seem to have a flock of Jessicas on the uh, chat. <laughs> and oh, uh, Andy, Andy Andy Ray, that only works in the Team Tuxedo chat. <laughs> As nobody else here has seen Team Tuxedo chats, that's probably going to be a bit confusing. But never mind. Oh oh, that purple. <laughs> oh, too many fandoms. You remind me of the babe. Babe, or what babe? The babe of the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Voodoo. You do. Do what? Why are you the babe? <laughs> um, we could go with like a less horrifying purple. It's slightly yeah. less horrifying. Go with like a Kelly green. No, I hate that. <laughs> uh, the, the pink does make you look like you're sleeping in, uh, in the midst of candy floss. Yep. Which I just imagine is going to be comfortable, but very, very, very sticky. She very much likes purple. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go balls deep. Here we go. We're gonna lean into this. You could always change one wall's color to uh, break it up a little bit, but no. Uh, it's true. I mean, with the right stuff in there, it's gonna look right. And have like an accent wall. We're gonna get all of it, all <laughs> the frou frou stuff. She's a pragmatic lady. But I don't think it's well. I, I don't know. Personally, I don't think we're gonna want the the pretty, the artsy, the pink. Um, some band posters, perhaps things like that. <coughs> yes. You just take your time. Oh, uh. mm. The floors are a problem. Let's redo. Let's deal with this. Yeah. I think you managed to shock Sun at goodbyes. Oh, why? Uh, balls deep. <laughs> mm. uh. No. Yeah, people, people, people. We don't swear that much, but occasionally it slips out. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it tends to be very, very funny when it does. <laughs> I have a filthy mouth. Uh, Hello, Kawaii679. Hello. Ooh, green. Ooh, the green. bounty is her, Kawaii679. <laughs> well, that's okay, Andy. I'm good. Uh... Cause like the thing, the thing I have with the costochondritis, I didn't know why, but it makes it feel like you're having a heart attack. So, that's been fun. Hmm. Yeah, they're like, oh, you're not actually dying. It's just the reason that you constantly feel as though you're dying, is this, uh, this thing that you've had your whole life, and we've pretty much just ignored telling you about. I'm like, all right. That's always good, isn't it? Yeah, it's like so. Who do I slap? You know what? I can live with that for the this yeah. precise moment, just for spacing reasons. But I think it's okay. <laughs> uh... Alright, goodbye. Says I cuss like a sailor. Mm -hmm. well, I, I I tend like to talk like a really really bad parody of a sailor. <laughs> <laughs> and I swear like a sailor on leave. As. Has a boyfriend. Okay, too many fandoms. I think you're setting the bar too high here. Okay, are we going to do all the good endings? Uh, quite frankly, we'll be ha lucky if we actually get one of the good endings, considering how bad we are at planning these things. But yeah. it's going to be amusing getting there. 
<laughs> I like this carpet. It looks like a bunch of cotton pom poms, like sewn together. <laughs> It looks like somebody spilled their M&Ms, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. She does well, like, like white and black. Um, oh, wait. Hi. No. Eh. Oh dear, uh, Miss Fumimoto seems to be uh, channeling her in on M&M. Uh, will real Miss Fujimoto please stand up? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Persona 4 is going to be a Twitch-only series. That is correct, Twin Hearts. Well, it's I have... going to be something special to you. Like, oh, you just make me out to be a liar now, aren't you? I have been uploading it to YouTube just because some people can't watch the stream. But I well, initially uh, wanted it to be stream-only. Okay, so Twin Hearts, uh, it's obviously going to be a YouTube series as well. And I, I think it's completely foolish anyone thinking any other way, to be totally honest with you. Simon lied to you. <laughs> we'll talk about this later, April. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> um, well, Lauren8279, thank you for coming along anyway. It's yeah. nice to see you. If you have to go, oh, people come, people go. Yes, thank you. Like a hurried lover. <laughs> Gross, Simon. <laughs> yep. Oh, no, that's too big. I'm going to love seat. Oh boy. She did not have to make it easy with this green and purple thing. No, they're not the best of colors for working together, are they? No, I feel like I'm making a room for the Joker. No, I'm fairly certain you aren't. The walls aren't padded. <laughs> It'd be great if we could get padded walls. That'd be awesome. Okay, so I've got the same pea green going on here. And the carpet kind of breaks things up a little bit. Alright, I can live with that. This room is probably going to evolve over time. I'm going to be in the series like, ah, oh, I hate this now. Lauren82979. I am leaving now, but one day I may return. <laughs> Please remember this and hold this true in all your actions. I want her to have a cool desk. You take care of yourself, Twin Hearts, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for coming. Sweet um, Melissa really likes the carpet. Cool. I'm glad. Yeah. yeah, I think it works. We just gotta deal with those curtains. <laughs> Everybody gets a fancy computer. People are asking about your microphone. Is it a Yeti? Uh, yes, I have a Blue Yeti Pro. Which uh, makes me terribly jealous. Why? Because I have a Yeti Snowball, so you've got oh, a better one. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. If I well, could send you a Yeti Pro, I would buy you one. The thing is, it's not what you've got, it's how it uses it that counts. Well, you've got that pretty voice. Yes. Well, I've got several pretty voices. <laughs> this one isn't, but people seem to like it nonetheless. Aw, we like your voice. Don't ever think we don't. <laughs> uh... Why is this... Ugh, oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> so, think of the silly voices. How many people are paying attention to Exim Sugar's uh, upcoming Big Brother series? Mm-hmm. Oh, too many fandoms. Oh, oh, Damien, Damien, where Damien? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you know what this means. I've done a Damien voice, which means Wendy will be logging on in just a minute. <laughs> I feel that's a great you... disturbance in the force. I was going to say, that's how you summon Wendy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, Wendy, have you left your bedroom window open? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah. Really looking forward to that. It's going to be interesting to see... Who we get this year? Mm -hmm. Are you going to be in it, Simon? I don't know if I should say. Oh, okay. Mm. Yes, I am. Yay. But I don't know if I should say. I don't know if any of it's supposed to be like a surprise or anything. Well, I, I, I did tell Laura you know, to make up from Kai last year. I Perhaps I should play a, a Catholic priest this time. Mm. As, as long as there aren't any little boys in the in, in the household, I'll be you know sort of perfectly fine then. I'm in dark place. You said it every time as if you're surprised. I've never worked that one out. <laughs> um... 
Hmm. <laughs> a series is what got you into actual Big Brother. I think we should put up a disclaimer at this. <laughs> now, welcome to X Sims 3, uh, uh, X Sims Sugar's Sims 3 Big Brother series. This is a gateway drug and may lead you to watching the actual Big Brother series. <coughs> Um, yeah, uh, so, well, hopefully hopefully we'll find out the entire cast first. Am I going to be doing Damien voice for Big Brother? That would be a bit boring. <laughs> yeah, you Sorry, too you. many fandoms. I mean, I use this in every single voice series I do, so let's do something else. Mm. It's true. Mm. It's apparently we broke April, which kind of improves that... Uh, yeah, it kind of implies that you were fixed at some point, huh? Yep. Hmm. I do have an IUD. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I just took that to a gross place. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, what else is coming up? I mean, we're we're down to what five weeks now until the Hope Hathlon. Yes. And that's going to be on the twenty sixth of September. It's going to be awesome. We, our, um, we have had some great breakthroughs in getting stuff organized, and it's actually looking like we're going to be able to do it now, which <laughs> a couple of weeks ago we were a little bit worried that we wouldn't be able to, to be totally honest with you. you know, yeah, we're not like, enough uh... people and, and getting it organized and all that rubbish, uh, but it's, it's, it's coming together now, and I'm really happy about that. So I hope to see you all there, and I'm sure this is the one that uh, April will not object to me advertising. The Hope Athlon is going to be on the 26th of uh, September. It will be at beam.pro forward slash Hope Athlon. Mm -hmm. And it will be from 8 p.m. British summertime to 8 a.m. British summertime, which is what? 3 p.m. Eastern Standard yeah. Time and midday Pacific Standard Time. So, um, you know, that's just going to go on for a while. We're going to have six different uh, presenters on two hour slots and we're going to have some professionals from the the healthcare industry coming along and the spreadshirt shop will be open soon mm -hmm. looking at that, really excited by the stuff we've got coming up so i hope you guys will be too yeah that's slightly larger than the bedroom is in <laughs> <laughs> and um the other the other, the other thing here is... What was I going to say? I got totally distracted by the fight starting in the chat. Uh-oh, what's happening? Just because Shizzy isn't around, let's, let's not have lots of caps, please, guys, okay? Okay, um... Um, have I spawned, uh, sorted out the spawn of Richard Branson? Yes, uh... I phoned up and had a shout, shout at them, and apparently it hasn't happened since. So there's a miracle, isn't it? Sweet. I was I was getting uh, throttled on Wednesdays, which really really didn't help. So there we go. Yeah, that's no fun. Yeah. So yeah, the the spreadshirt shop will be open up soon. There'll be um, a big social media campaign happening soon, which I'm hoping everyone will help us with. You know, let everyone know it's happening. Any any organisations you know that might be interested, let them know it's happening. And let's let's get as many people as possible on, and let's get the donations coming in, which is the real important thing here. Mm -hmm. now, donations will be going out to two different organisations. There's going to be Papyrus in the UK, which is an organisation that gives uh, help and support to teenagers with depression, which is a very very important charity to me, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the other on the other side of the Atlantic, uh, you can donate to Reach Out, which is another depression-based charity, but this one's an international one. They do work in the U.S., but they also do stuff in the Republic of Ireland, in Australia, loads of other places, and they uh, seem to be a really, really good bunch of people. And yeah, I think every penny sent to them is a good thing done. So I hope you will get, you guys will come along. I hope you'll enjoy it. So there's going to be simmers. There's going to be sports games. There's going to be a race across Europe in Euro Truck Simulator 2, which is going to be weird to say the least. I will be I will be competing in that. 
I would be driving across Europe in my Volvo with you know sort of 16 ton of apples in the back or something like that. I don't have a driver's license. <laughs> I have no driving skill or instinct whatsoever. I keep forgetting that. So this is all going to end horribly, I'm fairly certain. But that one's going to be fun, and we have a surprise uh, presenter for that, so uh, I hope you guys will be looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be, what, another five two-hour slots with various people doing stuff. We're going to have some simmers, we're going to have um, some visual novel stuff. April and I will be doing some, um, what are we going to call ourselves, the Dirty Duo? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> we'll be doing some Dirty Duo stuff. That works. I have no idea what we're doing yet because we actually haven't sat down and talked about it, but nope. it'll happen and it's going to be both A, weird, and B, lots and lots of fun. I think so. Yes. There will be swearing, so <laughs> prepare. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, there we go. There's a there's, there's a, there's a potential donation uh, idea, okay? If you donate money, you can say, well, I want so-and-so to say a naughty word. Well, it's not too hard to get me to say something naughty. Yeah. Uh, take care, Lauren. Thanks for coming along. Hope to see you again soon. Bye. Thank you. Okay, I'm glad you ate something, Miss Fujimoto. And, yeah, um... Actually, I think I think the the the, the one that always amuses me the most is um, X in Sugar, when she gets into something. You know, she she really does curse like a sailor. She is so competitive. Oh my god, yeah. I love her. <laughs> I love her. It's so funny. Yeah, uh, Shakisha loves ducks. Hello. Hello. Interesting name. Love the name. I'll just give her a spice rack. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Uh, I can't figure out what to put on her walls. Everything's the worst. Oh, that works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a baby. I'm son of a... Oh. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> no one doing taking the hobbits to Isengard. No, I don't think we'll do that one. <laughs> uh. Look at this weird thing I hung up. <laughs> I hope we're allowed to say our Twitter usernames here. Yeah, I have no problems with that. Yep. Uh, if you guys want to be friends, uh, yeah, please give your Twitter usernames out. Anyway, anything short of your postal address, to be totally honest, yeah, please don't give your postal address out. Yeah. Practical yeah. storage letter holder. Oh, we could be so pragmatic. Quite, quite, quite frankly, I don't want to get called into uh, uh, to be a, a a character witness or be accessory during the fact. So, I have to give out your address. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Chrome no. panel. Woo! No point. Um... Right, if my guess is right, we will be coming up to an hour fairly soon. Mm. I take so long to build. Let's see. Mm. Well... I should yeah. actually show you guys uh, a house that I built for a YouTube series that I never actually did in the end. Mm. And it took me, what, about three weeks? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the reason why I think speed wheels are no fun, because, quite frankly, they just don't work. Yeah, a speed build is going to make a place. It might look nice, but it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be a good house. And I've, I've never ever done a speed build that I haven't come back to after and then spent a week just doing little tweaks in the corners and just making it a real house. You know, actually, um, that 3x3 three three house I made, I used, and it's actually very fun. But I can see what you mean. You're arguing with me a lot this week, aren't you? <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, but it's... It I shall is... have to have words with you soon, young lady, and those words are going to be... Please don't argue with me. Please, <laughs> please, please don't. Um, have you all seen my enormous speakwell house? It's absurd. And it took me three days to build. Yeah, I'm going to give her sconces. Yeah, Simon, there yeah, you go. Show that house. There's a good reason, sweet Melissa. You don't want Damien coming through your windows at night. Mm-hmm. And I can't do it if I don't have your address. Yeah. Don't give him your address. 
I tried following your stream home, but it didn't work for some reason. <laughs> okay, I'm set. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay. Done. Done. I'm not adding anything else to this room right now. It's, it's one tiny, tiny little thing that really bothers me. I'm really, really niggly about it, but would you mind? What's that? Um, could you just grab hold of that mirror, press Alt, and actually push it into the corner? <laughs> Good. That drives me up the wall when you see that. Just things sort of really just living in the middle of the room when they're supposed to be in the corner. There you go. That's fair. It does look so much better, doesn't it? It does. And now it's not blocking off this really weird thing that I put over here. Yes. I love and it. It's your, so your weird. Your alarm's going off. Oh, I do yeah. like that, actually. Yes. Okay. So, there we go. That's been our hour. <laughs> um, so, we'll come back. We can do some more building. We've got another bedroom and a bathroom to do. Probably uh, a good thing I don't live in that the village down the road from me, isn't it? Because it's called our. <coughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah. We're going to do this. Um... And we will be back in about 10 minutes, roughly. I have to... E ha ha! Spatial reasoning. Um, I have to eat something, I think, really quickly. Well, I think you kind of proved that, yes. Get, get some blood sugar. Get some blood sugar. Will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Violently insult the microphone. Yes, there you go. There's an alternative. <laughs> 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 right, we'll see you all, everybody, in just a minute. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.